Okay, we're going from this to this. So this is what we're installing today. And uh, they're from FEMA Racing, German company. Looks pretty cool. And uh, to be able to glue this to the frame, you need to remove this expansion part, the screw. And unfortunately, this hose goes through. It won't fit through that hole. So we need to remove this. Uh, get a plier open it, put this part back, and then it's a hassle to get the hose off, but you probably succeed. So guys, to install this, make sure that your frame is clean. The big problem with these protection parts is that if you get anything inside, gravel or sand or anything, it will get stuck in between and it will just scratch your frame. Uh, so make sure everything is clean. Then I use silicone. Just apply to the sides in the middle. Be careful so you don't go too near the holes because it will squash out. And then fit it in and tighten it down with zip ties to the frame and leave it be for at least 12 hours. So it's firmly pressed against the frame and your guess is as good as mine. Find places that you can zip tie and then sometimes you have silicone coming out from the side so wipe it down and leave it there for at least 24 hours. So I'll do the other side. So guys on this side on the frame. You need to remove this to get it to fit. I'll show you what the problem is. This guy's in the way of getting this to fit. So start by moving that. And it looks like it's two screws only. Pop on. Looks like. TX30. Left side is on. Uh, we will move down to the swing. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a hassle, but we're going to solve it. So guys, I'm not doing this again. And unfortunately, it was such a pain in the ass. So I forgot to film what I was doing. But to install this sucker, you have to remove the chain guard. And then BMW start using these plastic screws, which are pushing and you unscrew them. And as soon as you put your Phillips in it, the head just gets around. So you have to use a plier to pinch it and unscrew it. There's one there. There's one behind here, which is actually the rear fender as well. And then there's a screw in there. And then this is hooked in to the rear fender, if you slide it out, you will get this out. And then you have to remove this plastic screw here to get this plastic part loose. And then you slide in the carbon fiber protection part and Bob's your uncle. I have to remove the rear set as well because uh, it was in the way. Um, but looks pretty decent I have a pain in my back and in my butthole so guys the swing arm parts were pain in the butt but it was easier on the right hand side I had to remove the end cap and the foot pegs uh, footrest sorry so I removed the footrest I unscrewed this screw and 13th wrench and then this part came out 
and of course I had to remove the bobbins as well, uh, the spools. So just slide it in. I put it there. So that's the swing arm, right hand side, and the left hand, and the frame. So next up. We'll see what's coming.